All right, let's do a really quick update in the park um, from today. Boy, was the park busy, but the park is so busy getting things ready for 2023 and 2022. Splashworks is receiving like a complete overhaul paint wise. Uh, they're painting the Lazy River. They tend to do that every year, the Lazy River, but they're starting to paint the water slides and playgrounds as well. So lots of work going on there. The restaurant is under a rapid construction phase. Um, we are hearing rumblings that they are trying to get this place open for the May 2-4 long weekend. Around May 20th or May 21st, the restaurant could open. Um, Windseeker is getting ready to open as well. I think it is still a couple weeks away from opening, but Dragonfire has two trains operational. Um, and is there anything else missing? There was another ride. Oh, Riptide uh, will be open probably by next weekend as well. That ride has started getting ready for the season as well. As I said, maintenance is just a little bit behind um, due to unforeseen circumstances. The restaurant uh, is aiming to open up May 20th, May 21st. That is just rumblings we are hearing, so please take that with a grain of salt. Uh, but they are definitely rushing. Landscaping-wise, the brickwork has already been put in, and fireplaces are being added as well. Now, I don't know if that's a fireplace or going to be the canoe photo op, um, but uh, we do know uh, that it looks like it's similar to the fireplaces at Cedar Point um, Shores. And, yeah, so... That's seven days uh, until this could be open. So the fireworks are coming up. I don't know if they're going to rush the landscaping so the area around the restaurant could be open for the fireworks and that's what they're rushing. Um, or if it's the restaurant as well that they're going to try and get open in, in seven days. But looking at it, this would go down in history in my opinion if they can get this thing open in seven days. But as I always say in all my videos, Wonderland has a tendency to get things done um and i would love to see it happen again this looks amazing um they have like these cool little retro um coca-cola machines behind those curtains that actually look really cool and that's like a touch screen tv or just like a tv screen menu this is looking really good wonderland is killing it in terms of theming um i absolutely love it i know that um, everyone loves Leviathan, but I have to say this whole Yukon era, Frontier Canada era, is amazing. Like, look at the brickwork here. Like, it looks stunning. Like, just the brickwork. Okay, I'm literally fangirling over brickwork, but I just love it. I love everything about it, and I'm so excited to see other projects as well, which you're going to see coming up. More action is going on in Dinosaurs Alive as more stakes and flags are planted. So super excited for you guys to see that. But this restaurant is definitely a lot bigger than it appears in videos. Um, here is the little like staircase thing that's going to lead up to the balcony area that's on top of the restaurant. Uh, right there where that little fence thing is. There's going to be like a little viewing area. So that's going to be cool. You're going to see me there all the time. If you want to come say hi to me, I'll probably be up there sitting on lawn chairs. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the little footings there, they're going to have connections. Every single gondola on Sledgehammer is also now operational. As you can see here, they're all working. So Sledgehammer is now back to its original self. And to be honest, I think it has more uptime than Lumberjack this season. So that's pretty awesome to see. I know a lot of people, this is a one of a kind. So just seeing it fully working again is truly awesome. Um, but yeah, it's a fun ride, to be honest. I love it. And so much goes into that. Like, there's so many moving parts. It's insane. But yeah, Dinosaurs Alive has a lot more flags and stakes that I'll quickly show you guys. Um, no news yet um, on what this could potentially be. I think there's been a change of plans that I'll discuss in tomorrow's video or the, the day after that. But I just wanted to provide a quick update um, before Craig and I are at the park tomorrow. So have a great day, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.